I'm happy, I 
Can somebody thank God for a moment for what he's already done tonight? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, some, some of us sitting in here may sit back and we may think them people are crazy. Them people are crazy. But I'm here to tell you just like that song says, if you only knew what I've been through, then you'd understand the reason why I sing. If you only knew my body was in pain, I called on that healing name. Oh, hallelujah. He's the reason why I dance. He's the reason why I shout. He's the reason why I sing. He's the very reason I find my joy. He's the very reason I find my peace. Hallelujah. Just like Brother Cox said this morning, I've got a testimony that none of y'all in here can take away from me. I don't care what it looks like shouting all over this platform. I don't care what it looks like shouting all over them altars. You didn't do it for me. He did it for me. And I'm going to do it for him. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please God. And same goes for every one of them that was up here. We're here to please God. Amen. This is awesome. We hadn't had something like this in quite some time. I remember the other night. I posted on the internet, you know, it seems like every single service that we've had, it just gets better and better and better. And I I sat in my bed Wednesday night after such a a move of God's spirit in this place. And I thought to myself and I asked God, I said, God, how in the world are you going to top this service? I'm here to tell you the service is not even over yet. And he just did. Amen. Amen. He just did. He just did. God's already topped everything we've already seen. And the reason is because some of us in this place decided it doesn't matter who else is in here. It doesn't matter that the superintendent's in here. It doesn't matter that sister so-and-so is sitting beside me. Or brother so-and-so might think I'm crazy. No, we just said, you know what, God? You've done so much for me. I've got to give some praise back to you. Amen. Oh, and I'm so thankful for the liberty to move in the Spirit. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. And I'm so thankful for that. We want to, as we stand, go to the Lord in prayer tonight. We want to have uh, prayer especially for uh, Brother Art and Sister Barbara Pierce. They both had a death in either side of the family. Brother uh, Art had a death of a brother, I believe. Is that correct? In in Kansas, they're not even going to be able to get there to the funeral because of the weather being so bad and then there's a death on uh, Sister Barbara's side as well so we want to remember them in prayer tonight especially Uh, does anybody have any other need yes ma'am Sister Gayla. Right. Brother Eddie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sister. Okay. 
Let's bring these needs before the Lord. You, Lord. Morning, God, Lord, we ask that you would touch each and every need that is in this place, dear God. Lord, we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, dear God. So no matter how we can see the situation standing, dear God, Lord, you see the way out. You don't bring any trial to us without us being able to have a way of escape. And Lord, we ask that you would touch each and every need that has been brought forth before you tonight, dear God. Oh, Lord, for you to perform your will, your perfect will, dear God. Oh, Lord, not our will, but yours to be done, dear Jesus. Lord, we claim healing, dear God. We claim victory in Jesus' name for each and every need tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's just you and me, Lord. It's just you and me. Exclusively, Lord. It's just you and me. I feel your presence here. Your touch is so
Hallelujah. You may be seated. Brother Booth, if you could get ready to come on up. We're so thankful for all of our visitors that we have here tonight. Amen. Give all of our visitors a hand. So thankful that you chose to be at Souls Harbor with us tonight and hope you come back again. Uh, How many of you are glad that Brother Don's back in the house tonight? He's definitely not a visitor. Brother Don, is, he, he's home tonight. Been away from home for a long time. We're glad to have him back. Amen. Glad to have Brother and Sister Spates here tonight. I met them. Met them a long, long time ago whenever I first started preaching. Went and preached for Brother Douglas Stewart over in, uh, well, Dubok. And uh, they were there assisting him. And glad to be able to call them my friends here tonight. So, uh, Brother Spades, would you stand and testify for us tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Y'all, I promise I did not talk to him about the message Wednesday night or give him a CD. You just pretty much completely recapped the whole message from Wednesday night that was in here. That was amazing. And uh, we're also glad that Brother Ricky Long, Sister Anita Long are in here tonight. Amen. Pastor at Jonesboro. Brother Ricky, would you stand and testify for us tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise and praise the Lord as Brother Booth comes and sings. I'm awaiting for that day, hallelujah. I know we're looking forward to that gathering, hallelujah. I have a mansion waiting yonder that the Savior has prepared me. He promised it before he went away. I know that he will come again and take me.
States, you find our first president was George Washington. One of our other fine presidents, the 16th president of the United States was Abraham Lincoln. Back when I was a kid, we got a day off for school for their birthday. That's how I remember that so well. I sure like those days off from school. So I found out some good people were born in February. And then without trying to get too political tonight and getting in trouble, my favorite president of my generation was a man by the name of Ronald Reagan. And his birthday is also in February. In fact, I could be wrong on this, and some of you can check me out and let me know later, but I think more presidents of the United States have birthdays in February than any other month of the year. I could be wrong on that. Pardon me? And I also know who's, who's had a birthday just yesterday, and that's your pastor. So I want you to see the company that he's keeping. He just led it off February the 1st, leading off the month of February with a birthday. I'm trying to say it this way. There's some mighty fine people had birthdays in February. We're blessed to have Brother Masters. You all look at him as pastor. I most often look at him as presbyter of this section. Don't mean that wrong. I'm glad he's your pastor. But I see him as a wonderful board member that stands strong for righteousness, holiness, and purity, and, and does everything he can to, to make sure our district does well. Bible teaches us that if we don't give honor, we've messed up. That's right. And I believe in giving honor. Yes. I really do. So what I, I, I was approached a while ago and said, would you take up an offering tonight? And I said, I sure will. And it's on behalf of Brother Masters. So whatever you give tonight in this offering, it's going to be a happy birthday. I asked Brother Clint, I said, will we take up any other offerings? He said, no, this is it. Am I right, Brother Clint? This is it. I got it right. So what you're going to give tonight is a little more than normal. If you plan on giving a dollar, why don't you reach down and find something a whole lot bigger? You know, go up there and find one of those presidents that really counts. <laughs> That's right. And for those of you that were on the side of the South in the General War, don't worry, in the Civil War, don't worry about those grants. They'll spend too, just the same. I get tickled. I, my youngest son is still fighting the Civil War, and every time he fights it, the South wins. Praise God. <laughs> he was telling me the other day, if, 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 if Stonewall Jackson, Daddy, had just, and he started down the line, if he'd have just done such and such, we'd have won that war. Well, he wasn't even alive when that war, but he's still fighting it, you know. <laughs> still planning on winning it. I say that, I tell you this, there's no one that loves you more than a good pastor. That's right. And you have a good pastor. And I appreciate that so very much. Now, I know personally, I'm going to look back in the furthest. I, I went to the bank just before I headed up here. And I got them to hand me out some of those pictures that's got a good picture on it. I'm going to tell you what it is. I forgot already. I know what the denomination is. It's old Ben Franklin. He wasn't even, a, he wasn't even one of our uh, presidents, but he's a pretty good fellow. He figured out electricity, they said. So uh, anyhow, find you some Franklins and Grants and, and all those good Jacksons and whatever you can find in your wallet and give it tonight because I'll tell you this much, you're going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed. I had a fellow talking to me the other day. A young man is in the professional world, and he said, you know, by the time I'm 50, I'm going to be rich. 
And I've heard that before, and most of the time when they say that, you know, you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I'll tell you why I'm going to be rich. And he was just as sincere. He wasn't joking. He said, the reason I'm going to be rich, he said, because I give so much to the kingdom of God. And he said, God is always going to bless that. What a wonderful attitude. <laughs> just a young guy, he said, but that's how come I'm going to be rich because i just going to keep giving and giving and God's going to keep on blessing. I believe that exact same thing. If you love your pastor, I want you to stand right now. Say, I'm going to give and we're going to pray right now and ask God to bless this offering. Would you pray with me, Lord Jesus? We give you thanks for a wonderful pastor and brother Masters. Glad he had another birthday, Lord, after some of the sickness he went through last year. Had us all worried and nervous. But I'm so glad, Lord, you brought him through that he's going to be all right. I pray, God, you'll bless the offering we're going to give tonight. Let it be a blessing to Brother Masters. Let him enjoy it and be able, God, to use it and his flesh, his physical body for the furtherance of your kingdom. We give you praise and honor for it in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Come on, ushers. We'll receive this offering. Jesus, hold my hand. Amen. Well, uh, also on behalf of Brother Masters and anybody who wants to come, we have a reception in the back for his birthday tonight. So anybody that wants to come, feel free to come in the back. We have a little box back there for you to drop a birthday card in or uh, whatever you would back there. So immediately following our service tonight, go on back there and we'll have a reception for Brother Masters and his birthday. Brother Cox is going to be preaching again to us tonight, and I promise he will not keep you long. The harder you preach with him, the shorter he'll be. I know from experience, you stand up here preaching to somebody, you can't get it out of them, you got to preach longer. So if y'all go ahead and get with him, he'll be, he'll be done quicker, and we can get back there and have reception and everything. But I believe God's going to do a work tonight. Amen? 
Worship with the choir as they come forth to sing.
you 